161 for the Camaro. Josh Kalis, what's up? Junk. Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. Infamous in the skating world, but also has a badass Camaro. I want to hear the story on this thing. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, well, from the beginning, this dude owed me money, and he couldn't pay me back, and he had a Roller 69 Camaro. He owed me 16,000 bucks, and I was like, dude, I'll just take the title. And I, I didn't know any better. But then when I went to sell it, <laughs> I got offered 2,500 bucks because it was rusted to shit. This car was? Oh, yeah, dude. So, uh, I came from like the BMW freeway race world and I didn't know nothing about steel cars and all that. So, the same guy who owed me the money taught me how to cut out the bad metal and weld it in. And dude, I learned how to weld on this thing. Really? And uh, yeah, and it just, it just turned in. We built it and it went to SEMA in seven months. And then from there, that was probably 11 years ago or 10 years ago. And then from there, it's just kind of steamrolled into like this half mile car. What have you done to the body to make it look like this? Uh, well, cut and flared out the, the factory body lines, like I think they're about an inch and a half. So this is all done back. by you guys? It's yeah, yeah. not like a kit that you buy? No, 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 car. this is all steel, the front splitter steel, the rear, rear the nose are steel. Everything's steel, it's <laughs> even the original hood. The only thing that is not steel is the side skirts and then those little vent intakes. And I don't even know if it does anything, but I remember putting the, the knock ducts in because I thought it looked cool. And then I was like, well, maybe we need an escape route for the air. And, mm -hmm. Dude, I have no idea. I, dude, I have no <laughs> idea if any of this works or helps or not. It looks but. amazing, though. It's such a unique looking car, like I said. It, it, it's like the poster car for the shift sector races. We see it on all the flyers. Yeah. And it just looks, it looks great. I mean, my plan was, my, my plan for it was basically to look like a, kind of like a, European touring car, you know what I mean? Because it, I was all freeway racing. This, it was built for freeway racing, and then starting to get with the shift sector guys, and it just turned into just like I don't freeway race anymore. I might yeah. hunt. I might go out hunting a little bit here and there. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even like that anything over 170. I don't even like it anymore. So really? either my little brother or my homie Heath, uh, who. He's the Stig, he's, his license plate on his car is the Stig. I mean, he can drive his ass up. I just put him in it, and he gets all Hans deviced up and all uncomfortable and all that shit. And I just make sure the window's closed, and I just enjoy watching it and working on it. And, you know, I took a 175 mile an hour pass in it yesterday, and I was just like, oh, dude, I just let I just let them go and, and have fun with it and do ride-alongs. Yeah. I still take it to Starbucks or take my daughter to school. I, you know what I mean? I still cruise around in it, and so I don't want to make it too race car. Yep. I do take the regular seat out and put an extender on the steering wheel. And I, I, there is some safety stuff that I added when we come to these events. Because, dude, we used to do 180 with windows down and arms out. Mm -hmm. and, and so we, we kind of stopped that, you know? All right, Clark. That, he made 3,000 horsepower on 93 octane. You That's know? ridiculous. Yeah. So this car makes 1,100 to the wheel on 93 octane, oh, and like 1,350 on C16. Jesus. And I've been, I've been fortunate. Now it looks like a race car. I, you know, I've been fortunate, like HRE and Garrett and Speed Tech and Recaro, and you know, just a lot of connections I've had have, have thrown parts at it. You know. And my little brother's a, a master TIG welding. He's a TIG welding motherfucker. I, I mean, straight up. He did the headers while he was working at Nelson. And then Nelson was cool enough to be like, I, right, you know, he's your brother. He can build his headers on the side. You know what I mean? So right. I've had a lot of people like really help out with it and everything. And I appreciate them so much. And I don't know, man. I just love coming out here and giving rides and letting people drive in. I got it. You got to take a ride with the stick. It's for everyone to enjoy, really. Oh, yeah. I, even when you pull it out here, want to stop and take pictures with it. It's it's a crowd favorite for sure. Yeah. All right. I think his best pass was 171. 
something like that. But this Camaro is freaking beat. He keeps hot lapping it. I don't know what he's going for, but I love this car. Eighty-seven. One eighty-seven point one eight. 187.18. I think that's probably about the limit for that car, which is pretty damn impressive. But I think he might get a mile an hour or two better, but that's really about it. One eighty-seven, like that's he did one eighty-seven like three times in a row. That's that's the limit for that car with like the current temperature DA and all that. So one eighty-seven. Here we go. The two eighty-seven like eighteen times yesterday. Let's see if we can go a little faster. Yeah, he went 187. He went 187. God damn it. All right, here we go. Right along in Josh Keyless's Camaro. Take one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wow, it's quiet in here. It's not bad. He was talking about the full exhaust he's got in here. That definitely makes a nice difference. Yeah. Full custom dash. Yep. I like that. Window switches, power windows. Power windows. Like that. I really like the fire bottle switch. It's especially good to have in a turbo car. <laughs> Want the draggy on this pass? Yeah. Sure. And then. Sweet. Who's that? It's Greg. Oh, yeah. oh, you want your draggy? Yeah. <laughs> you want draggy switch? Everybody's got draggies. Yeah. So the nice thing about draggies is you can literally see how fast you're going on your phone before you get the timing from the event. Also, you can buy them on our website when they're in stock. They've been hard to keep in stock. All right, the badass 69 Camaro that has gone, I don't know how many passes, but he's like Mr. 187. That's basically what he does every time. He did 188, 190, one lower at 180s, but 187 is basically what he does. Kyle is in the passenger seat of that this time, and he's going to go for a ride in it. And, uh, since he does 187 without any passengers, I'm going to say 185 with Kyle in it. Because it really doesn't change that much. I can't get over how quiet it is. It'll get a little bit louder here. Not nah, bad. He actually went faster with Kyle in it. All right. Well, wow. <laughs> that is like, that's gotta be the smoothest 180 whatever we did pass I've ever been in. Nice. It feels like the suspension's a little soft, but it still handles pretty good. Yeah. Damn. It's still really quiet for... Is it? Going that fast? <laughs> yeah. 
Josh always says it's real quiet when he watches from the sidelines, too. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thank you for the ride. You're very welcome. That was great. You got to go. Yeah. That was fun. It's very smooth and quiet. Yeah. I've never been in, going almost 190 that, like, it, it just felt effortless. Yeah. It's quite the machine. Yeah. You guys did a great nice. job with it. I, I, I just, dude, I love watching. I just love it. Seeing your baby go down the track. I just, and I love working on it. I used to love it when it would have vacuum leaks and shit after passes because then it would like, I'd be on the ground doing shit and then I'd be like, all right, take it, take it, take it. You have you to work I mean? for it. I just love that, dude. I don't know. Now it just works? Yeah. It's a hell of a car. That's, yeah, I don't know. Good driving, huh? Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. I love how you just, you knock it in the fourth. I was like, oh yeah, you don't have anything more to do now. Just... Right, yeah, then it's just pressing the gas. There was still a long yeah. runway left yeah. to go, too. I can't believe it stretches out that far. That's 8,000 RPM at the end. Is it? Yeah. It sounds great. Yeah. Just humming away. Huge shout out to Josh Kalis for letting me ride in the car and give me the full story on this thing. I've seen it all over the place in LA at the shift sector events and finally got to go for riding it and get the full story. So cool that he picked this up as a rusty shell and then learned how to work on cars on it and brought it back from life to bring it to SEMA months later. And then here we are going 190 plus miles an hour in this car. That's pretty awesome. Thanks again, Josh. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, share this video if you like Camaros or just going fast. We'll see you guys next time.